Graham, three points, a clean sheet. Good afternoon's work for you guys. Yeah, it was it was tough. It was um, it was it was at times it was a grind, but uh, I thought we were unlucky not to come in in front at half time. I uh, I asked for more. I wasn't particularly pleased with the first half. I thought we could have played uh, a lot better. I thought we went long too uh, too quick too soon. But uh, let me tell you, and an experience will tell you, it's tough after a break. It's tough coming back to play after a two week layoff. Um, all the training in the world you do doesn't replicate the game. The ninety minutes that was tough. I've got a lot of third bodies in the dressing room. Um, but uh, they're, they're, they're jovial, they're in good mood, they're in good form and they're, uh, they're in fine, uh, fine confidence, fine fettle. That first 45 was quite a tight affair, wasn't it? What was your message to the lads at half-time? Was it more of the same or a little bit of patience will pay off? I wanted more. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we were great, to be honest. I didn't think we were great in the first half. Having said that, we carved out three, four great opportunities. Um, I just thought it was football experience will tell you, you know, that when you're on top and when you have that momentum in the game, you've got to score. And we didn't, and I was worried. I was worried, I was concerned. Um, it was a difficult fixture for us because there was an expectation uh, level um, from obviously the crowd and you're playing against a team that's below you. Um, it was a dangerous fixture. They're a dangerous team. They're a really good technical team. So uh, to get over the hurdle, having had a two-week break, having had a two-week layoff, um, is a real plus point. And again, I have to take my hat off to the lads. It's heart on the sleeves, bodies on the line. Um, it's a shame we couldn't have won by a, a more comfortable margin. But uh, hey, how one nil do? Talk us about that period after after the interval. That goal came in at a crucial time, but we could have probably scored two or three goals in that. 10 minute period? Yeah, we, we got a little bit of uh, momentum. We played on the front foot. We just adjusted it in the centre midfield. Um, we, we started getting up against them, man. We started winning tackles, and uh, that sustained pressure and uh, that momentum in our play. Uh, putting the ball in the box, crossing set pieces, and funny before the funny enough before the goal, I actually thought Davo <laughs> they have a Mr. Sitter before the goal, so uh, I was delighted he made up for it with uh, with, with the goal he got. But um, you can see we're obviously working working a little bit of uh, of set pieces and, and and putting a few bits and pieces together. But all in all, look, I have to be pleased. I have to take my hat off. I have to pat the lads on the back. We have to dust ourselves down, enjoy this evening, enjoy tomorrow, and get back to work on Monday morning. A message for the back three, the back four, the back five. Jordy didn't have a lot to in goal, but when he was called one, he was calm and composed, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's caught a couple of things. He's, he's calmed us down a little bit. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's just hung his gear up there, um, ready to wear again next week. It, it doesn't need to be washed. So that was pleasing. That, that was good. Um, I think the crowd were, um, were brilliant at the, at the end there to, uh, to, to get the lads over the line. They appreciated there was a, lot, a little bit of cramp. There was uh, some, some tired bodies. But yeah, they... Um, they, cheered, they obviously cheered the, the Alfie Kilgars, the Tom Davies and the, the Tony Craigs uh, to the rafters, to be fair, because I think they appreciate the honesty, the hard work and the graft that these lads are putting in. Yeah, and the momentum's key now, isn't it? And that's back-to-back -back home wins. That home form seems to be, you know, touched with that, you know, personally, anything. <laughs> it seems to be addressed from the back end of last season. Let's not get too carried away. Let's keep our feet on the ground. Um, there was a couple of, well, a lot of issues I had to address coming in and taking, uh, taking the mantle. I had to address... Obviously, the home form, um, but there's some big, big uh, opponents, big, big challenges ahead, and it's um, let's crawl, walk, and then run. So uh, let's not get too excited. But um, we're in a far better place now than we were 12 months ago. Um, I think that's our 12th game today, and we've now got 21 points. Um, it took us 23 games, if I recall, to get uh, to get 21 points last season. So uh, it's um, it's good. It's a much better place to be this evening. Um, up the, that end of the table rather than the other end and uh, long may it continue but there's a lot a lot of stress a lot of hard work and uh, a lot of games water under the bridge uh, to, to, to come and just finally touch upon the introduction of cam hargreaves you know blood in those youngsters in at times when you know the game's still in the balance it takes a you know a lot, a lot of conviction doesn't it well, I've not. I've said it. I've, I've no problem. Uh, we went down to Plymouth last year, and uh, I chucked Alfie Kilgore in. I, if, if the kids are good enough, I'll just chuck them in. Not a problem. I've got Luca Tomlinson. I've got Luca Hall. I've got um, Kieran Phillips. Uh, I've got Kingsley. I, I, I've got a lot of young kids coming through the academy. And uh, like I've said before, I, I've no issues. I, I'll just chuck them in and, uh, and give them give them a game. Because one thing's for sure, I know this crowd will get behind them. I know this crowd will will uh, will accept the one or two naive mistakes that they make. But I know this crowd will cheer them to the rafters and, and, and this crowd love love to see one of their own, love to see one of the academy products. But look at my message to the academy, to the kids, to the coaches. 
look, if you're good enough, are you showing enough? I'll shook you in, not a problem. I'll give you an opportunity, I'll give you a chance because as I said before, it's pointless having an academy and it's pointless having an under-23 system if we ain't going to delve into it, if we ain't going to use it.